The boy's mouth is stuffed with food. His face is slowly morphing. He's a robot boy. He can't eat human food, but he was enraged by the human boy. His mother took him to the repair shop. His name is David. The staff patiently repaired David. David even reassured his mom that he wasn't in pain. At a birthday party, David was surrounded by other boys. All the boys laughed at him for being a robot. One of them grabbed a knife and tried to hurt him. David was frightened that he hugged a human boy to avoid being hurt. But he accidentally fell into the pool with a human boy. Inside the pool, David held on to the boy. The adults jumped into the pool. They're trying to break David's grip. David is holding on tight. The human boy was dying. Finally, the adults get the human boy out of the pool, but David was still at the bottom of the pool. The next day his mother took David to the forest. Mom told David he had to stay in the forest by himself. David cried and begged his mom not to leave him, but in the end, Mom left David behind. At night the boy and Teddy were walking in the forest. The boy says he's looking for the blue fairy to turn herself into a puppet. Then he could go back to his mommy. People poured sulfuric acid on the robot's head. The female robot is slowly being corroded. This is the machine slaughterhouse. The punishment for abandoned robots. Then a male robot was stuffed into a cannon. And then it was fired through a ring of fire. And finally crashed by a fan. A giant moon rises behind the man. This is the hot air balloon of the machine slaughterhouse. To catch a band in robots. Many abandoned robots have been caught. David was captured by the machine slaughterhouse. And then Hitler was taken to the stage. A drop of sulfuric acid corroded David's clothes. David was so frightened that he began to cry and beg for mercy. A woman stood up and said David wasn't a robot because robots don't beg for mercy. People were so excited that they pelted the host with stones and demanded that the robot slaughterhouse release David. A riot broke out in the robot slaughterhouse. David and the male robot escaped. They found the doctor. They asked the doctor questions and found the blue fairy's address so they stole a police plane to the blue fairy's location the boy raises the lamp he frantically hits a boy who looks just like him with the lamp both boys were david the robot later David saw many robots just like him, but David was not the only one. David was sad and Saturday on a high building. Then he jumped. He flew a plane to the bottom of the sea again. He wanted to find the blue fairy to turn himself into a real human. He came to an amusement park that had sunk to the bottom of the sea. David went through the playground and saw the statue of the blue fairy. Then David's plane got stuck at the bottom of the ocean. Then David prayed to the blue fairy and he kept looking at the blue fairy. And so it went on for 2000 years. David was sealed in an ice city. Humans no longer existed, but David still looked at the blue fairy. The aliens released David from the plane. David came to the blue fairy. He touched the blue fairy with his hand and the blue fairy broke. The alien put his hand on top of David's head. Then David went home. He saw his mom. He had a happy day with his mom.